Hello everyone, welcome to this charity website. This is the front end of my charity website and you will see this is a very nice looking front end and in the front end there is a slider option here. You see some information are given here, the read more, some heading and some text here. And then after that there is a mission section, what we do and you can change everything here. So in this website you can change almost all the things from the admin panel and you will see there is a featured cause section in the home page. After that there is a uh, what we do or services section. You can also call this section as the featured section. So all the features of this website will be listed here. After that there is the upcoming event section and then there is a testimonial section. After that there is a latest news or latest blog section and then there is a call to action section and then there is a nice footer and then there is a copyright information. So this is the basic home page of this website and then there is a about page. If you click on the about page, about link, you will see this is the about page and in the about page there are some information and also there is a, a counter here with some information about this website. Then there is a event space. So all the events will be shown here. The past event or the upcoming event, everything will be shown here. So if you click on any event, then you will be taken to the event detail page. And in the event detail page, you will see there is clock uh, that is uh, running. That means uh, 44 days, 11 hours, 56 minutes are remaining. And this will, uh, this is going to be decreasing. That means the number you see 10, 9, 8. That means it will come into uh, 44 days, then 43 days, then 42 days. In this way, it will come to 1 days and 0. When the current time will be expired, then this will be stopped and you will not be able to pay. You see that up to 44 days, you have the event days in your hand. And there are total seats. You see for this event there is a total seat is 10 and book seat is 10. That means there is no seat remaining. If you want to buy a ticket you will not be able to buy a ticket because there is no ticket remaining. But there are some other options for ticket. For example this is another one. Here is total book seat is total 3. But there is no seat limitation. That means as many people want they can participate in this event. So an event can have unlimited seats or an event can have limited seats. So there is no seat count that means there is no remaining count here. You can buy any ticket for any event. Uh, you can just uh, from here select how many tickets you want. A maximum 5 tickets you can buy in a single purchase. Uh, so you can just select the number and then you can select the payment method. So if you select a payment method and then if you click on make payment, it will take you to the payment method page. That means if I select PayPal, it will take me to the PayPal page. If I select the Stripe, then it will take me to the Stripe page. And some recent events are listed here. And if you have any query about this event, you can send the email, uh, send an email to the um, admin. So you can give the full name, email address, phone number, message, and then you can send message. And for each event, there is a uh, photo and there is a description. There is a event photos. There can be more photos. So you can click here and all the photos will come in the pop up. And then there is some videos. You can add unlimited photos here. You can add unlimited videos here under each particular event. If you click on any video, it will be loaded here. In this way, you can shift from one video to another video under this particular event. So this is the basic setup. You will see there are some past events. That means the event has uh, gone and the date is over. So if you go to that event, you see the event date is over. As the event date is over, there is no payment option and you will not be able to pay for this event because this date is completely over. And from here, you can go to another event. You can from here go to there. You can go to another event from here. In this way, you can shift from one event to another event from there sidebar recent events and after the event there is a cause the cause is one of the most important thing for any donation website or for any charity website you see there are many causes listed here child support help to mothers for each cause there will be a goal setup that means for this child support i need total 500 usd 
then the raised amount is uh, 325 this one if i click on the donate now button it will take you to a donate page that means the goal is uh, showing here and the raised amount is there so the remaining amount is 175 usd right and similarly like before you can uh, put as many photos uh, under this cause for that means for each particular cause uh, you can add unlimited videos unlimited photos etc also there is another extra thing here that is faq for each cause there can be some uh, question and answer uh, that can arise on your mind so there are some faq elements here you can add as many element as you want here that means the number of faq here is unlimited you can send the email to the admin similarly recent causes are given here the information is given here and also how much would you like to donate so if you want to donate anything uh, for this uh, cause you can uh, select the amount here if i click on 10 that 10 dollar is selected or 25 dollar 50 dollar 100 dollar if i select custom then this will be empty and you can put any number here but remember that if the remaining amount is 175 usd but if you want to pay more than that it is not possible you can uh, pay here maximum the amount that is the remaining amount and the select payment method you will have to select from here that is paypal or stripe and then you can donate for this cause when you will go to donate for it for example i want to donate using the stripe if i click on donate now it will take you to the login page without login a user will not be able to donate here you see there is a login and sign up button so if i click on sign up uh, you can just uh, give your name email address password confirm password and create an account then an email will be sent to your email address from there you will have to verify for this uh, website and then you will be able to log in so i am going to log in here using an user for example this one uh, sorry smith at the rate of gmail.com for example i give email and password this is actually the user panel the user will be able to see all the detail that means the event tickets he purchased he will be able to see from here the cost donations that amount he donated for any cost that will be shown here in this way i am going back to the front end and now if i want to donate then i will have to go here i will have to go to the cost section and then select anything from here then what i can do i can select the payment method stripe then for example i want to donate 20 dollar so then click on donate now then it will take you to the stack website just uh, fill up the information click on pay then that donation will be uh, will work if i uh, select the paypal and click on donate now button then it will take me to the paypal website so going there and logging to there you will be able to pay i use the sandbox paypal account in order to complete this task and in the top you see now, now there is no login or registration button because here the user is already logged in here so click on dashboard you will be able to see all the event tickets that means the ticket user purchased he will be able to see um, the payment id unit price number of tickets total price if you want he will be able to click on the see invoice then he will be able to see all the uh, invoice detail here for any particular order if you want he can print this if you click here he will be able to print this invoice uh, similarly there is a cause donations so the amount he donated for any particular cause will be shown here uh, the price is this this and this the total amount he has spent is 425 dollar so in this way if he uh, want he can see the invoice here also uh, so it is similar uh, to the event so like this so this is actually user dashboard if you go to the dashboard he will be able to see the total statistics total event ticket purchase 28 ticket he purchased total event ticket price he paid that is this one and total cost donation he paid that is this one the user will be able to edit his profile he will be able to change his name email address password and also the photo from here now i am going to log out so i hope you have understood the events and causes how i worked here there is another page that is volunteers there are many volunteers here volunteer name designation and social media icons are given here if i click here the volunteer detail will be shown in front of me like this okay 
there is a photo gallery option if you go you will see that the uh, university event are given here school event are given here that means each photo will have a particular category without category a person will not be able to insert any photo so i will show you that so similar thing will be happen for the video you see charity event on university charity event on school that means video category is unlimited so user can add unlimited video categories and then each particular video he can assign under that category you see this is my admin panel and the admin will log in in this website like this so password is password so like this so this is the admin panel a, a strong admin panel is given here admin can change this profile name email password photo and admin will be able to um, change everything here so under the photo gallery you will see there are categories right like this and there will be any photos under is category here like this so when he will be uh, he will go to add the photo he will have to select the photo and the category under that similar thing for the video um, the this is video categories and the videos are here so for the video a user will have to put the youtube video id from the youtube so this is um, the photo gallery video gallery there is a faq section that is given here you see uh, unlimited faq the person can add the admin can add for this faq page and he can manage this from here this is a faq page he can give question and answer from here and you see there is a block page and this is a complete block section if i click on the read mode the particular block post will be shown latest post is here category is here tags tag wise post he can show from here for example he wants to uh, show the post by the name of the tag that is charity so all the posts under that is showing here for example learning uh, so under the learning tag all the posts are showing here this is uh, implemented very nicely i hope you will enjoy when you will read uh, when you will see my videos when you will see my tutorials you will understand and this is under a category that is donation if you click on here all other items under this will be shown here and in, under the blog post you will see this post was, uh, has this particular text all are given here and this post has no comment so no comment uh, is showing here if i click on another post you will see under this post no comment i am going to another one here is also no comment uh, here is some comments you see so if you want you can put any comment in this website you will have to give your name email address comment then the comment will be posted and admin will have to approve that so admin will have to go to the blog section then he will see the comments and all the comments are given here admin can make any comments active or inactive like uh, on click if you click on pending also then it will be active again so replies are here given uh, he, if admin on he can reply to any person so admin has the reply option nice love uh, this is a very nice website love it uh, this person commented here admin can reply from here by giving the reply here so but the reply has no reply the comment will have reply but but the reply will have no reply here and where oh, the comment the, this user first commented here and the david is another user he replied to him uh, in order to give the reply to any comment the user will have to click on reply and then he can give his name email address and message then uh, his reply will be uh, sent to the admin panel admin will approve it and then it will be shown here so smith commented here and then david replied then this par another person replied here and admin also reply to this um, and that is marked as admin so admin name will be shown here so in this way uh, you can maintain the reply section uh, comment section very easily so this is the blog uh, post section and after that there is a contact page the, in the contact page there is name email address message and this is the map section and become a partner this is another section call to action section admin can also change the information of this section all the information in the footer admin can change and there is a newsletter section so if a person uh, wants to become a subscriber in this website he can give his email address click on this button and an email will be sent to his email address he will have to just click on that link that is sent to his email and then he will be a verified subscriber here 
now i am going to the admin panel and here you will see that there are many other things in the admin panel in the dashboard you will see there are total causes total events it's a type calculated and show uh, in one place in the admin panel and if you go to the settings you will be able to change the logo of this website you see uh, if i go to the front end of this website you will see there is a logo there is a favicon so you can easily change the logo favicon and there is a banner banner means in each page if i go to the about page you see there is a banner even page there is a banner that means the banner that is given here you can change it from here in this section and also you can change the other information that means top bar phone email that is given here that is email top bar you can change from here call to action section you can change the heading text button text button url that is given into the home uh, into e space here this is actually call to action so you can change this heading text button text button url where it will go you can change everything from here in the footer you will be able to change the address phone email and all social media icon url you can give here also copyright text you will be able to change that means this address phone email this uh, urls and this copyright text you can change here and there is a map section the map code uh, you will be able to provide it here that is uh, given into the contact page that means here you see there a map this map you can change by giving the code here and there is a slider options you can create the slider or change the slider items that means this section this photos this text is that you can uh, you will be able to change that means the heading you can change text the uh, button text button url you can uh, change that means this text this url you can change it set up from here there is a special a special section a special section is actually this section you can change the information here that means this text this one this text also the video background photo the video link etc you can change from this section here and there is a feature section feature section means actually this section you can uh, add as many section as you want because i added uh, this type of thing that means you can add more features here and after that um, there is a testimonial section you can change the testimonial information or add many more testimonial here there is a counter section counter section means if you go to the uh, about page in the about if you go to the bottom you will see um, these numbers you can change from here also you can change the text okay you can also make this section uh, completely hidden okay you if you do not want to show this you can just make it hidden from here hide so this is uh, another section i already have shown what is faq section there is a volunteer section you can change the volunteer information from here you can add more volunteers here you can give the name the profession address etc information you can put here so all the home page items you can change that means you can um, make any item hidden in the home page for example you do not want to show this section that is featured course or you want to hide this section you can do that you can also change the background photo here you can change this heading and change this subheading also you can hide this section completely so all this type of information are given here even heading subheading you can hide this testimonial you can change the background photo uh, you can change the heading also hide this in the blog section in the home page you can change everything photo gallery video gallery i already have told you and there is a blog section you can um, uh, add or edit or delete the blog categories post categories and there are post these are the post here so when you will uh, want to edit the post you can do that and for each post there are tags if i go to add the new post you will be able to see there are tags if i want uh, something monica uh, for example some this is the tag another tag just enter so in this way you can put as many tags as, as you want uh, for any particular post and also you can control uh, if this post um, will be sent to the subscriber or not if you just select yes from here that means after this post is inserted an email will be sent to all the subscribers or you can just uh, make it no that means the post will be published but there will be no email sent to the subscribers so uh, you can control it easily from here so after the blog section there is a subscriber section all the subscribers uh, who actually um, I, um, verified their email as a subscriber in this system they will be listed here 
if admin want to send an any special email to all subscribers he can go to this option send message to all uh, admin can give the subject and content then this email will be sent to all the subscribers and there are events section you can control any events uh, even photo gallery you can control from this section uh, also you can control the video gallery from this section for any particular event if you want to see the tickets for example this is a event so how many tickets were purchased what are the information you can see from here so admin can uh, see this uh, like the user you see user was able to see all the tickets or all the donation list from here so same thing admin will be able to do and admin can also see the invoice for any particular uh, event or cost so admin can also print this uh, from here so cost section is similar there is a photo gallery video gallery section and extra section is the faq section because each cost have a faq so uh, admin can add any faq section for any particular cost from here uh, he will be able to give the question and answer then it will be inserted here so in this way there are there is a another button that is donations so how many amount paid for example this raised amount is 300 uh, 25 so if i go here i will be able to see this person's paid for 25 uh, this is the payment id another payment he paid that is this one if i go to another another cause i will be able to see this person paid for this and this person is for another one so in this way you will be able to see and terms page and privacy page are to another page you can if you go to the bottom you will see that there is a terms and conditions page if i click on this page you will see the website terms and conditions are showing here so this section you can manage from this section of the admin panel and there is also a privacy page if you click here you will see uh, there is a text editor to change the content of the privacy page so this is a very good and nice application and a very clean code i managed and i hope you will understand each code that i have explained so thank you for seeing this video